if there's one thing that we are all guilty of, it's procrastination. We know we procrastinate. We know we should stop. We know it's bad for us. And yet, we procrastinate on ending procrastination. Now, the cost of procrastination is huge. It's missed deadlines, sloppy work, lost sleep, chaos, pressures and stress. Not to mention anxiety and guilt. Of course, there's tons of material on how to end procrastination. And yet, we haven't been able to get rid of it. I believe that's because we are not aware of why we procrastinate. You know what I always say, awareness is the first step to transformation. And in this episode, we'll tackle just that. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! Now there are a lot of theories given on why we procrastinate, from saying that it's a personality trait to even saying that it's a mental problem. However, none of these are true. Some days procrastination is task driven. Think about it. What would you rather do? Post a picture on Instagram or do your taxes? Go to the dentist or watch a movie? Get my drift? And on some days, the same task may seem like a chore. For instance, Yesterday, you walked the dog, you skipped along with the dog happily. Today, the dog drags you. Now, the other reason that we procrastinate is because we have always got things done. The 11th hour becomes a drug that fills your body with the adrenaline rush. And we know we've done it before. We continue doing it. We wait for the 11th hour. Procrastination also happens when there are no deadlines. If you want to get rich someday, set up your business someday, learn Japanese, these jobs have no deadlines. No deadline means no adrenaline rush. No adrenaline rush means no fear of consequences. No kudos for finishing it on time. And therefore, no action. If you need to get off the procrastination wagon, the first step is always the most challenging. So let's look at what I have for you today in Sheila's Toolbox. Procrastination is choosing not to do something that is related to your goal. Instead, you choose a default alternative. And this default alternative is your competition. So today's tool is the not to do list. Track your activity to detect what your default alternative is. Is it watching films on Netflix? Is it surfing the web? Is it watching YouTube videos? Is it hanging out with friends? Preparing elaborate meals? Dusting your house when there is no dust around? It could be any of these. Take these and put them on a list. And every time you are going to do one of these, don't do it. Instead, cross them off the list. That's how you do your not to do list. The solution to end procrastination is only one. Just start. Procrastination is killed by action. There is no other antidote. When I went for a book writing boot camp with Jerry Roberts, he told us, you are all writers. You can start your book today. Now open your notebooks and write down the first word. Do you know what that word was? The T H E. It's that simple. Like Nike says, just do it. So that's your tool for this week. Do it now. Not tomorrow. Not the day after. Not even after you finish feeding the cat. Now. Watch out for more life hacks in our next videos. You know I love hearing from you. Please feel free to write back to me with your comments, your queries, your doubts, your challenges. Let's talk. Like, share and subscribe to spread the light. Don't procrastinate on this one.